There is a lot of debate within the kettlebell community about which technique is superior, hard style kettlebell or sports style kettlebell, which is why in today's video, I will be breaking down the benefits of both styles to see if we can answer the ultimate kettlebell question, which style reigns supreme. So stick around to the end of the video and I will reveal my take on which style is the best. With that said, let's dive in. First things first, in order to answer this question fairly, it's important that you understand a little bit about each style. Hard style is likely what most folks watching this video think of when they picture, say, a single arm kettlebell swing. An explosive hinge pattern with rapid acceleration of the kettlebell and a forceful extension of the hips and knees with a plank-like rigidity at the top of the swing to maintain a straight line from shoulders all the way down to ankles. And with this style of kettlebell, you most commonly see these black powder coated cast iron kettlebells used where the handle gets thicker as the bell gets heavier, which is a double whammy for increasing grip strength. Which leads us to the question, how is a sports style swing different? The sports style swing utilizes more finesse to move the kettlebell by leveraging your own body weight against that of the kettlebells. And you will see these colorful bells that are the exact same dimensions, regardless of the weight in order to standardize the equipment for competition. And what typically catches the eye of those who have never seen a sports style swing before is the softening and straightening of the knees on the backswing, which in some athletes even causes a slight lift off of the toes as the weight transfers further backwards in the foot. And oftentimes you'll even see athletes leaning their bodies away from the bell when they get into events like the kettlebell snatch, which leads us to yet another important question as we explore which style is superior. Why would you want to do all that extra leaning and shifting your weight through your feet? Wouldn't it be more efficient to just hinge and rapidly extend the hips and knees? Well, it's a little more complicated than that. And to answer that effectively, we need to understand a little more about the usage for each style. You see, in a classic kettlebell sport competition, there are three events that the athlete can choose from. Biathlon, where the athlete performs one set of jerks followed by one set of snatches. Long cycle, which is a set of clean and jerks. And snatch, which is, well, just the snatch, but it's important to note that you can only switch the kettlebell between hands one time for the duration of this event. And in a classic competition format, you perform a 10 minute set for max reps without putting the kettlebell down, which requires a ton of stamina. And this is why kettlebell sport athletes leverage their body weight in different positions to move the bells so they can ride the kettlebell's momentum and reduce some of the muscular demand as they are under tension for 10 minutes. Whereas in hard style kettlebell, the focus tends to primarily be on building strength and power, which means lower rep, high weight work with plenty of rest periods to get as strong as possible. And hard style is extremely explosive, which would be impossible to maintain for a 10 minute set because the style lends itself to maximal force output rather than pacing for a longer set. So kettlebell sport is for endurance won't make me as strong. Well, not exactly. Professional women are performing 10 minute sets with 24 kilograms per hand, which is 53 pounds per kettlebell. And the professional men are performing 10 minute sets with 32 kilograms per hand, which is 70 pounds per kettlebell, which definitely requires some serious strength. So which style is best? At the beginning of this video, I promised you an answer to that question. So here's my take on it. I think which style is superior depends on your goals. If you wanna be as explosive as possible and work on that quick twitch type movement with the kettlebell, then hard style is likely the way to go. But if you enjoy the flowy nature and fine intricate details of complex movements to be engaging to maximize efficiency of moving the kettlebell, I would say sport style is for you or if you want to compete in sport, obviously. I personally use both styles. When I'm not training for competition, I prefer hard style to support my activities because I like the ability to be explosive and since it is a lower volume style of training, it tends to beat me up less. But if I am doing sessions that require me to spend a lot of time under tension and test my stamina, I prefer sport style or if I'm actually training for a kettlebell sport competition. With that said, which of these styles do you prefer? Let me know in the comments below and check out this video here to join me for a full follow along workout and I'll see you on the next one.